TP and Sketch here. Um, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk a little bit about gear uh, during these winter months uh, in preparation for our hike. Um, today, uh, Sketch is uh, up with her knee surgery. She just had knee surgery a couple days ago. Um, and so she is not going to do much of moving and very little talking maybe because she's a little on the loopy side. Um, but we'll do our best. Okay. So anyway, uh, by the way, her surgery was uh, a success so far. Um, it was actually quicker than it was supposed to be. So we'll see. Uh, we're going to just start uh, PT here in uh, about uh, three or four days, uh, getting her moving her leg and all that good stuff. And uh, anyway, she's a little uh, banged up, but, but hey, we'll hit the trails with it. So anyway, today we're going to talk about our packs. Uh, nothing special about our packs. Um, although I should tell you a little about why we have what we have. Um, nothing special about it other than uh, we had some probably 10, 15 year old packs that um, were youth packs and or a 30 year old pack that was an adult pack when um, she and I both decided that we were going to uh, go out and do some uh, real backpacking. So she used her brothers. She has five brothers and they were all, they're all, first all older than her and they were all Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. And so we had three or four um, youth packs sitting around. And when she went on her first overnight backpack um, as a 14, 15 year old, those youth packs fit her well. And so she was fine doing that. Um, but when she decided as an adult to go on a backpacking trip, they didn't fit her so well. Um, and at that time I thought, you know what, our adult pack that we have that fits me at all is 30 years old. It's about seven or eight pounds, uh, new technology, new everything. So let's go in and see what, um, was available. And we literally needed to have this turned around in literally three or four days. Um, so we could not, um, ask for a custom made anywhere. And you know what? That's okay for our first backpack that was literally under $200. Um, let's go to REI, see what they have. So, and we tried on probably five or six, seven different packs. And we both decided that the REI uh, Flash 55 size medium in the women's uh, pack would be the ones that would fit our bodies um, the best. Now, I do have to say that we could share clothes if we had the same taste in clothes. We are truly that close in body type, in height, in weight, um, in everything. Um, uh, you could call her my mini me or, yeah, she's my mini me. So body type and all that, we literally are um, very similar. Now in our tastes, that's a little different. Um, she does not like the brain on hers. I like the brain on mine. Um, so there's a few things that we did modify, um, our packs so that they are a little bit different, but for the most part, we both enjoy this, um, flash 55 from REI. These have gone on three, I think for you two, for me, um, trips, um, right now they work fine. And until we need to do something different, um, this is what we're going to be using. Yeah. And we did not go to REI planning to get the exact same pack. In fact, we were looking at different packs and then you tried it on first and you said, oh my gosh, this feels really good. And then I was like, I was wearing one that I was like, oh, this is okay. And so I decided to try it on and I was like, well, I guess we're getting the same pack. And it's funny because our older, my older brother, um, he has the same pack but the men's version and I think a larger something like that for his backpack and we all got them roughly at the same time and we weren't planning to get the same pack it just yeah. it just we're very similar yeah we're very family similar. we're family so it makes sense so here are the specs I gotta put my granny glasses on to read them so that's a flash 55 from REI we both are in the size medium which makes it about two pounds, 11 ounces with all of the bells and whistles put on it. So Jessica's is a little less because she has, she doesn't have her brain on it, but you know, those two ounces or three ounces, whatever it is, doesn't make that much different. We both paid about $199. Um, I can't remember if we got it on a sale or not, but it doesn't matter. That's that. what it's retailed right, right now on the website as. Um, this, the medium is a 57 liter and it holds about 30 pounds of gear that's what it's about rated and it's a here i mean you know, an ounce or two either way um the top lid or the the brain is can carry another five 
and three quarters ish um, liters if you want to. Um, it does have the fixed um, belt on, but these pockets um, can come off if we don't like them, but we both like them to hold our snacks for the day. Um, uh, we also wear a fanny pack. I wear a fanny pack and she does too, so that they're in the front belt. Between this, there is a place to hold other snacks. Um, but we both love yeah. the hip pocket. And the fanny pack is really great because even when you take the pack off, you still have that pocket in the front that you can use throughout camp, which I find really nice. Yeah. Um, we also love the large water bottles. The, the pack that the adult, the other pack that we had um, did not have these water bottle holders so that we could um, reach them. She can access them perfectly by pulling her hands backwards. I cannot because of my shoulder mobility. Um, I don't have the full range of motion, but she has no problem in using the water bottle um, packs. And I can because there is a little snap here, and we'll do some close-ups of this, but because there's this little snap here, you can put a larger bottle in or you can put a smaller one or you can put two bottles in of the smart water bottle size. So that's a nice feature, easy hand, uh, easy. Uh, you don't have to take the whole pack off to um, do your water bottles. Um, uh, it also has a, an ice axe um, loop, uh, which is very uh, convenient because we're going to need an ice axe, an ice axe in the Sierras. And you can also use this to hold your um, trekking, trekking poles in. Um, they also have another one over here and that can also, you can also use this to hold your trekking poles. And you know what, quite frankly, uh, you can hang anything off these if you want to. If you wanted to put your um, something underneath it and with a bungee or something or something. Uh, that, that's the beauty in this because we have, we have loops all the way up the back um, for the, the marsupial pouch here, which is out of a mesh. Um, so you have um, hooks and loops all the way up here so that you can put all sorts of um, ropes and tags and carabiners. We have a carabiner on hers um, to help close this if it gets too big and to and, and hold important things that we don't want to have fall out. Um, it also, I love this feature, instead of a drawstring, it has this so that you can cinch it down. It's a roll top, so you can cinch it down even further and clasp it in. Um, it's also a good place to carry. Mm -hmm. It also has a good carry hoop here so that you can pick it up, put it on your body. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna say? Another thing is, so I find that this helps when you don't have a brain. She doesn't have this problem, but with the brain, it helps keep this. Um, Cause with this, I always have it pop up and it's kind of annoying. So I like to come down here and I'll put it through this loop right here as well. And we'll show you a close up of it and then snap it down like that. So it doesn't pop up while I'm hiking. That's just a tip. Back your head, yeah. Um, let me see, what else on my notes? Um, uh, according to the website, it has nine external pockets. You have two big, nice ones on the sides next to, whoop, put my hand in it, uh, next to the water bottles. So your water bottles here, you've got two nice big ones. You can put your sits pads in it, uh, snacks, um, first aid kit. You have the marsupial tent one poles. here. Yeah, tent poles. And you also have the two um, on the hip belt. And you also have um, this one. I love this one because I can put my... Um, Sunglasses. My sunglasses in here or my reading glasses because I do have extra glasses unlike she she only has a reading glasses But I can or sunglasses. I can put reading glasses in here and close it It also fits my phone, but it's not an easy pull out for my phone um, Just because of where it's stationed a little too high. Um, it doesn't bother. This does not bother me at all I know sometimes this she might remove hers. I'm still and it's easy, Easily removable. That's what I love about this is that it has these loops on um, sorry, on your shoulder straps that you can hang things. Um, we have a water hose um, that goes to our water bottles because I don't like the water bladder. I don't like the water inside my pack. Um, but this does have it if you wanted to. It has two holes on either side so that you can pull and the it has water a pocket to. Inside to keep the oh water yeah, it bladder. does. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I can run my my hose from my water bottle up through one of these and that where it's right by my mouth and I can use it. Or you can put other things. We've tried um, a cell phone bag on it, but it was a little too cumbersome. Um, all adjustable, all the straps to pull um, the shoulders down, to pull the hips down, to pull the sternum across there. Uh, all wonderful. It's mm -hmm. just easily fed to you. 
Oh, I should also say it's an internal frame with a nice soft mesh so that you can have air circulating. In yeah. fact, um, if you could see the close-up of this, there's pads, but there's space between to let the air flow. And um, for somebody like me who sweats a lot, that is really important. But I really love the adjustability to all of this as in cinching everything down, um, all of the, the hooks and whatnot that you can hang carabiners on or other, um, you know, put your pee rag on it. Uh, a dish rag on it, let it dry out, your clothes, your socks from, from the night before as you're walking down the trail. Camp uh, shoes, love the bag. Whatever. Yep. I, I really do love the bag. Um, the weight according to um, the website is literally under three pounds, um, which is marvelous. I remember my first backpacking trip that I did when I was a teenager, I think my backpack alone weighed 10 pounds just to get myself out. And it was an external frame. Uh, with a big old rolled sleeping bag sitting on top. And I just remember going to have lunch and having literally to take everything out to find my food. So backpacks have come a long ways. And I totally, I thoroughly enjoy. And I actually like the color. It's grown on me. I <laughs> wish they had another color that it would come in. And I wish we could have gotten two different colored packs. But at the same time, I can never lose her. It's this bright, like, yellow yeah. olive color, and I I don't lose her. I know exactly which one she is. Almost nobody, I've almost never come across somebody with the exact same bag. Yeah. I think yeah. maybe once or twice. Yeah. So, that's our pack. Um, we thoroughly enjoy it. I hope we uh, meet some of you out on the trail. So, we'll see you on the trails. trails.